In this episode, we have the Battle of Enterprise Legends, Hadera taking on Cardano. If you're new here, we will compare these assets across five criteria, community engagement, performance, unique innovations, accessibility, and adoption potential. My job is simply to rate each chain across the five criteria, and at the end of the video, it is up to you to decide who wins. The chain with the most votes in the comments will advance to the next round. Let's get right to it. Hedera came into the market in July 2017. It has two founders, Mance Harmon and Dr. Lehman Baird. Baird is the one who was credited with the inventing of the hash graph, a unique form of consensus algorithm that Hedera is most commonly known for. Mance Harmon has over two decades of tech entrepreneur experience before Hedera. They collaborated to create Swirls Labs, where Hedera's early technical work occurred. In the same year as Hedera's origin, Charles Hoskins founded Cardano. He built the Cardano blockchain and the ADA token through his company, Input Output Hong Kong. Cardano aims to create a globally accessible decentralized ecosystem of applications and payment gateways where every ADA holder has a say-so on the operations of the network. Hedera and Cardano both look to become the one-stop shop for all blockchain development in the future. But when you stack the two against each other, let's see how they compare, shall we? For community, we look at active addresses all time and social media engagement from Lunar Crush. In Q1, Hedera had 1.5 billion social media engagements and total all-time accounts have exceeded 1.9 million as of April of this year. Cardano's all-time active addresses, according to data from Masari, sits at 4.7 million. Social media engagement for Q1 tops out at 3.7 billion engagements. That gives Cardano the green check mark for round one. In the performance category, we look at all time high, return on investment, peak transaction volume, and transaction speed. Cardano's all time high was $3.09 printed in September of 2021. Return on investment is 1900% to date. Peak transaction volume was 33.9 billion in May of 2021, and transaction speed is 1,000 transactions per second. For Hedera, their all-time high is 57 cents back in September of 2021. Return on investment is negative 50%. The peak transaction volume was 3.76 billion in September of 2021, and transaction speed on Hedera maxed out at 10,000 transactions per second. So when it comes to performance, Hedera may be faster, but you're making more money with Cardano at this point. This puts Cardano up two to nothing heading into round three. When it comes to innovation, we're simply looking for it to be there. For Hedera, they bring the Hedera consensus and token service to the table. The Hedera consensus service is how transactions are recorded on Hedera. It's unique in that anyone building on Hedera can use the consensus service to create brand new applications in a fraction of the time compared to other chains. It also allows for these same applications to track multiple transactions. Several companies are already using the consensus service in the supply chain industry. The token service is how companies can digitize real world assets on the Hedera network. It enables the creation, management, and transfer of native fungible and non-fungible tokens. These tokens can be programmed to do nearly anything. For example, DLA Piper uses Hedera's token service through its TOCO platform for tokenized securities. Supply chain company Infinite uses Hedera's token service to create NFTs to track and trace goods on their supply chains. And in the field of green tech, Hedera's token service is being used for the tokenization of carbon market instruments. For Cardano, They've truly taken a lesser known programming language in the form of Haskell and created hundreds of unique applications. With the Cardano blockchain as a base layer, they are introducing new ways for decentralized blockchain growth. How they do this is through the use of smart contracts and various APIs, the most recent of which would be Dandelion. This API is an open source programming interface that can be edited and contributed to regardless of programming background. 
All around, Cardano is changing the way crypto applications are developed entirely. No argument here, both of these chains are definitely bringing something new to the space. With that, our score is now Cardano 3, Hedera 1. Hedera, they're listed on multiple top tier exchanges. There is also a growing number of native wallets like the hash pack on Hedera. We also have the integration of now payments, which means HBAR can be used as a payment method online. Cardano is also listed on multiple top tier exchanges. They also have several payment integrations, including Ada Pay, developed by Cody. Both assets are open source, but where Cardano takes the lead here is the number of wallets on Cardano. I counted more than 30 across decentralized and centralized sources. So when it comes to accessibility, to me, Cardano has to take this round. Our score is now Cardano 4, Hedera 1, as we enter the final round. Regarding adoption potential, Cardano has been mainly focused on the education side. Outside of large crypto brands like Binance, they were among the first companies to set up shop in Africa. Emergo is a non-profit arm of Cardano. In October of 2021, they launched Emergo Africa. This was part of a $100 million investment made by Cardano to ensure blockchain training and development in Africa. This is so significant because of the long-term impact this will have. According to the United Nations, Africa has the youngest population on Earth. This also means that they will have the largest workforce over the next few years. A workforce that will be highly digitally advanced. This positioning will serve Cardano very well in the coming years. Hedera boasts one of the most enterprise-heavy governance models. Their potential for adoption depends on the direction of the companies on the council. Fortunately, there's a lot to look forward to. In 2021, South Korea's Shinhan Bank and South Africa's Standard Bank conducted a global stablecoin pilot using Hedera. A few months later, they joined forces with Mtech, the company developing CBDC sandboxes for multiple governments, including the United States. In 2022, Ubisoft joined the council to usher in a new era in Web3 gaming. In 2023, DLA Piper incorporated the Hedera token service into the Universal Digital Payments Network, a global instant settlement system that DLA Piper and Red Day Technologies co-founded. So again, there's no arguing that adoption potential is strong with both these assets. With that, we're gonna give the green check mark to both of them, bringing our final score to Cardano 5, Hedera 2. Cardano wins on the scoreboard, but whether they advance to the next round, that's all up to you. Let your choice be known in the comments. If you wanna catch up with the rest of the first round, you can check out this playlist here. As always, my name is Wade, and if that money is digital, so is the hustle. I'll see you in the next battle.